Hey guys, today in this video, we're gonna actually put a golf cart battery into my golf cart. Now you may have recognized this battery from a previous video. I wanna go through the installation procedure and setup, and then that way you guys will know how to do it in your cart, as well as I wanna test this out and make sure that it actually works with a golf cart, because these things do take a high amperage and they do take a lot of power to, let's say, go up a, a big hill and this battery has the claims that it will do so. It does have some rather large numbers here as far as it's uh, capable of discharge. So let's go ahead and hook this up. A lot of these batteries, this one included, they make them really wide here at the base and my cart is like 10 and a half inches inside the rails for this to drop into. So this company here actually sells for your specific cart brackets. So I have two of these so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to install these onto the battery and then lower the battery into my cradle. I'll show you guys the installation process of that. Okay, so as you can see here on the side of the battery, we have these slots and we have the two screw holes and then the slots at the bottom for mounting into the rail. And as you can see, this is what I was talking about. So these are my two rails here that I can mount the battery into. They give you this hardware these bolts are actually the same bolts that are the terminal screws, as you can see. So it's all the same bolt uh, pattern, which is nice because then you can use these. Pretty simple. And these here already have the washer and the split washer already built into the bolt. So when this locks down, it's gonna lock down very well. Okay, now I'm gonna leave this a little bit loose so that I can slide it back and forth. Because in my cradle, or in my uh, trunk, or compartment, battery compartment, I actually have a bit of room where I can slide this battery either forward or back. So I wanna maximize my overall space inside the battery compartment. So once I get this down in, then I'll tighten these up. The one thing I've already noticed that I did wrong which is gonna help with the installation process. As you can see where these bolt holes are, if I turn this around, that's gonna make that more accessible in the future to actually get the bolts into the rail. Now the hardest part is lowering this battery into the cart. Okay, I got that side. And there we go. In my cart here, you can see I have this center hump. So with this, I can actually bring this over top of that. There we go. And I can bring that forward or back. I think right about there is probably good. So now I can just go around and tighten up these bolts. Now at this stage here, you would bolt the battery down to the actual cart. Now I'm just putting this in for testing. So I'm just gonna use the strap to hold it down for now but if you're installing permanently, bolt it down to your cart. Okay, that is good and tight. Now for installing the charger, I've already gone ahead on this cart and installed my own uh, AC input plug. So all this is, is it literally just plug an extension cord into here, just the same way this one's set up. So this one here is actually made for this Yamaha cart as you take the stock charger out and this goes, this faceplate goes right in its place. You can do this through ordering on the website. You just put your card in and then they'll give you all the parts like the, the installation brackets and this faceplate. But essentially this goes on here and then you can just plug an extension cord in. This waterproof charger just goes with you. So they give you all this and then they give you the ring terminals that you would connect onto the battery. And then anytime you go anywhere, you just plug an extension cord into here and you're charging your cart. So as you can see there, I already have a different charger installed, but they all work the same. So this is gonna work the exact same as the charger that came with the battery. Now moving down here, as you can see in the back down here, I already have a um, DC to DC converter. There's just four wires that come out. You put two wires on the 48 volt side and then the two wires that come out, they go on the 12 volt side. So if you have any lights, cigarettes, socket, USB, whatever, I have mine running over to a distribution panel. And I've also moved 
my positive and negative connections here. So in a regular cart, so basically in, in a regular cart, uh, you have your positive that goes to your DC controller box, and then the negative goes to the motor. So all you need to do is connect positive and negative. It couldn't be any more simple. Okay, so with this, we also got some wiring. This wire here is gonna plug into the battery itself. And then we also have our display, which you have a couple options with that, I'll show you in a minute. And you have a kill switch. So you can turn the battery on and off by this switch. You can hide this under your dash. Um, you can put it in a spot where you can get to it easily. It's up to you. But basically it's just a kill switch turns the battery on or off. Even if the switch is off, you can still charge the battery, just you can't discharge. So nobody can jump in your cart and drive away if you have this turned off, which is a nice safety feature. And this gives you enough wiring to go from your battery down under the cart up to your dash. Okay, so this plugs in to the side a bit, right there. Okay, we're plugged in. Can't get a clear shot of it. There we go. So you can see 79% and it gives us the temperature and it also gives us the amp draw. I'll show you this better once we start driving. I'm gonna turn this off because I wanna show you the other display. This is their digital, dis this one here is their digital display. So let's look at their analog display. I'm gonna go ahead, turn the battery on. Now that's the alarm. And not sure how well that's showing up in the sun on the camera but we have looks like about 80 percent on that so turn that off now you can also turn the battery on and off there's a switch right here as well on the battery we can go ahead and actually hook the battery up to the motor so i only have two wires because my charger is connected over here but you will essentially have these two plus the two ring terminals for the charger so i'm going to put my negative and I'm going to put my positive. Now the battery is turned off too, by the way. Okay, now as soon as I turn this switch on and turn my key, yep, I have power. So we are actually ready now to go for a drive. This is completely installed. Uh, I've gone through the charger. I've gone through the displays, the switches. We're anchored in. So yeah, let's go for a ride. So far, so good. That's got some pep. That has got some good power. All right, let's go for a little drive. Okay, so now as you can see behind me, I have a pretty good hill. So this is gonna be a great test for this battery to see if it has the amp draw that it needs in order to get up this hill. I'm gonna try it at various speeds as well as I'm gonna stop mid hill and then take off and see what happens. Oh, my camera fell down. Oh. Gimbal protection. Oh, my camera fell over. Okay, I need to wedge this up somehow. Good thing it's recycling day. Okay, let's try this again. But I was negative 140 amps, so that was good. Okay, starting from hill, taking off. Let's see if I can see how many amps we got here. Whew. Minus 230. Minus 230 amps. I gotta get that on film. That was really cool. I got a really cool burnout. I wanna try and get that again on camera. Oh, let's get that. Let's try right there. Okay. No, that wasn't that good. Let's try this again. 
All right. Oh, that's got some pep. There you go, you can kind of see it now. So you can see how it shows the amp draw as you're driving. I'm not sure how well that's gonna show up. But. Okay, so I'm gonna go driving around, see if I have any issues, and uh, we'll be back in a little bit. Okay, so that's gonna wrap it up for this install and test video. Uh, I'm at 73% now. Uh, all I did was just rode around my property up and down various hills. Worked great. So this battery's pass, and I do like their install system. It makes it so simple to do. And uh, thank you very much for watching. And as always, subscribe, like, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.